Booty Quake here from RollerDerbyAthletics.com, the place online for derby specific training advice. I just finished doing this plyo workout that I'm going to show to you and I am dripping with sweat. It is hard work. It's not very long, but it's hard work. So it's a plyometric workout and what that means is bending, contracting a muscle and then springing out of that contraction. That's what plyometrics is, okay? So the point today that you have to remember is that every one of those jumps, those springing, has to come with a bend before and a bend after, like a spring, okay, like a bungee. So with a squat jump, you're gonna squat down into a deep squat, jump as high as you can, and then land with nice soft knees into another deep, deep squat. So really springy, really bouncy. Try to get a lot of air under your foot every jump. Here's how the workout's gonna look. This workout is gonna be two rounds only of three exercises, but in between each exercise, you're gonna do five blocker burpees. Take a minute rest at the end of the first round and then go for it again. Watch the video, stick around to the end. I'm gonna show you a couple of modifications and some pointers for some of the exercises today. Don't forget to warm up before you get started. Okay, here we go. So the chair leg lifts are the only non-jumpy exercise in today's workout. So, you know, take advantage of it. Give your lungs a little rest. What you wanna make sure you don't do is kind of be swinging your legs back and forth. Start with your feet about 
8 to 12 inches behind where your wrists are. So swing them back to there and then lift from there and do it with control and use these lower abs to lift your legs. For the skater jumps, it can be a little confusing what to do with your arms, but it does kind of help with your balance if you use your arms, just like when you're skating. So you're on that outside leg and you are going to swing out with your arm in the direction of your travel and then switch arms for the jump so that your arm and leg are in opposition, just like when you're walking down the street. Okay, and then switch arms again as you come down. Swing your arm, far arm out in the direction of travel. Switch, 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 switch. When you're doing the squat, jump, twist, lunge combination, it's uh, important that you are uh, twisting in opposite directions each time so you don't just go all in one direction. So an easy way to remember and not get confused about which way you're going is do your squat, twist. Now whatever side you just turned towards, lunge forward with that leg and then you don't have too long to forget that you have to turn the other direction and lunge with that leg. That workout was pretty much a beast, but it's going to make you a beast on the track too. So give it a whirl, share it with a friend, give it a like, and tell me what you thought about it. I'm Booty Quake, I just kicked your ass, now go kick somebody else's.